All right, welcome back to Locke. Last time we learned about a rule that had been there the whole time, and I just never had an opportunity to use it, I guess. The rule about being able to jump over gaps, like that also counts as adjacent. Pretty interesting, and I've decided that I am going to skip over, once again, skip over the advanced puzzles in this section. I think it would be fun to like do all the chapters then do the advanced puzzles, like leave that as like the, the hard, the extra hard bit at the end. And that, that adds a bit more variety to the kinds of puzzles I'm doing along the way as well. Although I remember there being like, there's expansions as well during it. Um, like, sorry, at the end of the, at the end of the book. Also there's these, which I'm pretty sure are puzzles that I'm supposed to solve. Like how easy is this to solve immediately? <clears throat> I don't know, let's, let's not think about it. Um, oh, when we're learning a new word. Like, I wonder if any of these new words would affect <clears throat> a puzzle earlier on. They've all been really carefully designed so that that can't happen. It's possible that maybe you need to know all the rules before you can do like the image puzzles or something. I don't know. Okay, it looks like we're going to space now. <laughs> this uh, civilization is developing pretty fast. Puzzle 56, learn the new word, Lolo, Lolo, and its effect. Follow. Sure thing. So, um, it says Lolo and there's a bunch of diagonals. Does it mean I can just fill in all the diagonals? Does it matter whether they have the same thing in them or not? Is it a bit like tar where they have to have the same letter or is it not? Okay, so here there's a tar. There's a G that's like not adjacent to anything. So clearly that needs to get removed at some point, and that N might be connected diagonally. Like, I'm sure there's a bit missing there, but the N is on the same diagonal as those other letters. So there's a tar. If I do the tar, I can get rid of all the blanks, I guess, and then do lolo. And I guess I can just do, I can just shade in any, the, oh, I should read this. The effect is always performed in this one exact direction. Oh, interesting. I see. So it's only ever that diagonal, not the other diagonal. And this puzzle can't be solved because that's the other diagonal. This puzzle can't be solved because of what? Lolo. Do the diagonal. Okay, this is telling me that I can't stop part way. I have to do the entire diagonal. Um, so then lock has no cell left over to shade in. And this is telling me that there has to be something to shade in. Okay, so I think I'm pretty sure it's just the diagonal. Um, I'm really appreciating how easy it is to like figure out these rules from just like two or three puzzles. So this one, in fact, is kind of, you get the gist of it from just the first one. Uh, okay, so let's assume that shading in Lolo uh, allows me to shade in any number along a bottom left to top right diagonal. No matter what they contain, it seems. If it's always pointing this one exact direction. Uh, so I can't do Lolo first, so it's tar first to fill in all the blanks. Right? And then Lolo. And I can just do these. So even though there's things on the diagonal already, I can still go through them. I guess. These three puzzles cannot be solved for the reasons we've already said. Okay. <clears throat> so, what do we have? A lot of stuff. Um, okay, so. We have a Lolo going that way. Oh gosh, this is going to be complicated. <laughs> I think we want a TLAC here, right? There's an X here, TLX. Remember, we can jump gaps as well. TLXAK, Lolo. And if we did Lolo and then did the diagonal to get rid of that, maybe? Or is there a lock right now? The K, no lock. I'm pretty sure that's been used with this TLAC. So, okay, let's get the plastic sheets, which is not quite clear right now, there we go. So 
So if we did do this, which diagonal would I want to cover? Do I want to fill that in? So do like this, that, that, so that I can do tlack immediately or something else. At some point I'm going to want a tar, but there are still some T's and search around. It looks like there's going to be another tlack here. Interesting. So do I do tlack, fill these two in, and do another tlack, and fill these two in, and do a tar and get rid of the X's. That makes sense. Tar, get rid of the X's. Okay. Got it. So, lolo. Um, which lets me do a diagonal, which I want to be this one. It's there. Then tlack. Don't fill in the X. <clears throat> tlack to fill in these two, so I can do the other tlack. T. X turn L A K, which fills in two more, which are adjacent. These two are adjacent. And then tar, we can do horizontally there, fill in the X's. Okie dokie. <clears throat> 60. I see a T and an L. There's an X in the middle, so there's lots of like direction changing that we could do here. And these four out of the at the corners ish. So Lolo is possible. In fact, the only way I'm hitting these is with the uh, diagonals, right? So I need two Lolos. Else, how would I go to these ever? I guess with a tar is the other option. Hmm. But this is the chapter about Lolo, so. So if I did do one Lolo, is there even in the letters for, no, we've only got two O's, the uh, three O's. So we're not doing two Lolo's. Interesting. If I did Lolo, I could do a Tlack afterwards. Ooh, okay. So if I did Lolo, and do the tlack afterwards, then is there enough stuff for a lock? Lolo, tlack. There's, a, there's an L and O and a K, but they're not in the right order. Oh, let's do tlack first, then lock, then lolo. That's probably the order, but what am I doing with each of the things? I guess I want all the letters in the middle. So it's gonna be tlack, these two get shaded in. Lolo, this, the X, and that get shaded in, but that's already shaded in, that's fine. And then lock, uh, sorry, no. Tlack first, these two get shaded in across the slime that I've left behind in the tlack. Um, lock, this one gets shaded in, Lolo, those get shaded in, I think that works. So T, L, A, K, these two. L, through the X, O, K, this one. Because I can't hit that with the Lolo. I can hit these two with the Lolo though. L, O, L, through the X to the O, and these two on the diagonal. Hooray. Okie dokie. <clears throat> 61. I see a tar, a potential tar. I see a low. Uh, oh, oh no, can I loop around? <laughs> I guess I can. Otherwise, what else is happening here? Yeah. This is interesting. But actually, I can't because of like. In fact, according to the rules, can't I jump from this puzzle to this puzzle? Why not, huh? <laughs> but okay, so assuming that's not a thing, 
The problem is that like, this doesn't actually lead into, oh, but it does if I go like L-O. Yes, if I loop around like this in a three by two grid, L into the X, X, O, X, X, L. Yeah, I can do Lolo here and fill in those two. That's cool. It's cute. And I guess like I'm double shading them, but they're not shading until I've done the word, so it's fine. <laughs> I guess is how that rule works. Yeah, so that works. I can then do a diagonal. We can then do tar and fill in the X's. Very interesting, okay. Now we do have a Lolo here, but we probably also have other, yeah, we have other ways of writing it as well. We probably do want a tar at the end. It looks like there's probably gonna be a lock as well. So L O L O, but then we've used all the O's up. So we can't do a lock. Unless we're reusing an O. So how, is there some way I could reuse an O here? E, no. <laughs> I'm gonna say L, O, L, O. Hmm. Right, so the, yeah, the, pro the problem with that is that if I do L, O, turn to an L, I can't turn again to go back to that O. I think I would like to reuse it though, so I can do the lock. If I'm doing lock, then I'm almost certainly doing that L and that O. So hold on, maybe I can do it the other way around. L, O, L, like this, is there some way I can come back to that O after that? I didn't see a way. I mean, it's possible that actually it's L, O, K, like I skip over this L, O, turn O, Mm, not really, is it? Curious. <clears throat> so. This is definitely what I want to do. I think so, because I can do a diagonal here. Well, that'd be covering up the L to do the lock. I want the tar at some point, so I can do the X's, I think. And then, so those two need to be filled in. I was imagining that would be filled in by the lock. These two would be filled in by the Lolo. But how do I fill those in without covering up this L? Well, maybe if I've used the L already, but I can't. <clears throat> Oh, unless this L is part of the, the Lolo, and maybe one of these two L's is part of the lock. In fact, L, O, L, rotate. I don't want to use both of the L's. Oh, but if I've used the lock already, L, O, K, so that O is already gone, and I skip over it and use that O twice. That makes sense. So, uh, I think it's this, L into the X, turn, O into the X, into this X, into the X, turn, into the X, turn, K. And that lets me shade in this one. Then we've got L, O, L, X, turn, X, turn, through the goo, X, turn, O. So we've got Lolo, so we can do the diagonal here. Very cool. And then we've got Tar. Awesome. Get rid of the X's. I like this pattern of like, you always have a Tar at the end to clear out the X's. Whew. 63. I'm, just, I'm guessing Advanced is next. Yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> right. Oh gosh, there's so many ways this could be done. <laughs> like roots to make Lolo. And there's a tar, okay. So ultimately I want to fill up this tar at the end. Um, 
but there's a long path between here and there. So like all this needs to be filled in. And we've only got hollows, right? We don't have any locks, there's no keys. There's no keys, there's no T, oh, there's T down here, but that's going with that for sure. So somehow I'm doing enough hollows to bridge this gap. The X's don't matter. So it's one, two, like the diagonal here is like, there's only that cell on it. So one, two, three, four, and that would be enough. Four lolos, assuming I've used the L. Okay. How many L's and O's do we have? <clears throat> I assume if I just counted them, so one, two, three, four, that's one lolo, one, two, three, four, another one, and we've got, so two and a half. We've got two and a half lolos, but we need to do four. So there's some amount of like reusing of letters that needs to happen. Hmm. Okay, so how can that work while going around these loops? Let's say we went L, O. How would we then use the same ones again by these two already being used, right? Because then I can skip over them as, as, as goo. Skip over the goo and then use the L and O again. So if I used one, if I did one Lolo fully using four things and then did the remaining three using only two, would that work? One, yes, that would work. <clears throat> so this is about finding where does the first Lolo go that allows me to do the rest of the loops? Is it just pretty much anywhere? Like, could I do L, O, L, O? Let's do it with the... Uh, Plastic sheets, because there's a lot to remember here. Uh, so if I did L, O, L, O, <clears throat> and then filled in one of these, then I can do L, O, skip around here, that should be fine, L, O, because like those are still available until I've shaded it in. That's another one. Then L, O, L, O, same here, and then same here, L, O, L, O. <clears throat> okay, so I guess just coming through the middle was the best thing there. So I think that's, <clears throat> that's it, right? Pretty sure that works out. So, L, O, L, O to fill this in. L, I have to do this one next so that this has a path to take that only uses two letters, otherwise it would use this L. L, O, L, O. <clears throat> L, O, L, O. Going around the loop. L, O, L, O. Also around the loop. We've got that to there, then got T through the goo, X through the goo, X to an A. T, A, and we can fill in all the X's with the tar. Awesome, okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna keep with the pattern of skipping the advanced and we'll come back to them later. I think that's a good way of doing it. So that means we get to go to chapter eight. That was a fairly quick chapter. Okie dokie. Um, this explains nothing. What are we even doing here? So we've got space travel and now we've got... <laughs> well, this looks like science, but you'd expect some science to have been done earlier. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, question marks. Does that mean it's a wild card letter? Like it can be any letter? That would be a reasonable interpretation, I think. Um, I could do lock and fill that in. Ooh. Chapter eight, isn't that the last one? It might be the last chapter. Then we've got like lock and 
Like how it doesn't even give us any text here. It's just like, yeah, you know what to do now. <laughs> Lock, what else do we have here? Um, lots of R's that could do with being filled in. Gosh, there's so many words now. Lolo, the most recent one. TA, tar, get rid of the R's. Maybe. I wonder if the question mark can be reused. Surely once it's shaded, it's shaded, right? Can I write it? Can I write down a question mark? I mean, what would the benefit of that be? Nothing. <laughs> like I might as well just write down the, the letter that I'm going to use the question mark as. Okay, so clearly I'm just using that as a K, and then that's going to get filled in. So then here. I could do lock. Is there anything else I could do? Tlack. Oh, tlack, yeah. I see. But then what? <clears throat> Maybe we need this just so I can visualize it. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna wipe that off. Then, okay. Tlack. Get rid of two more things. Well, it could be the S and the Z and do tar. But then there'll be one question mark left at the end, which doesn't sound good. It's like, oh, unless that's a tree that's an R. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. So I get rid of these two. T, A, a tree that has an R. Get rid of all four of them. Interesting, is that, okay, let's just double check on one more puzzle. Make sure that seems to work. Um, so, lock wouldn't do it. We'd only get rid of one. Uh, it could make them into tar, but then I'd have to make the rest of the things okay. That wouldn't work. Slack wouldn't do it because I don't have two things to fill in. Hmm. Those are all the words that have K in them. What other, what other words could I do? B, B, E. Write down an L, do lock, but then there's nothing for to shade in after the lock. How could this work? Okay, what other words do I have? Tar, B, lock, wallow, can't do that. Tlack. Is this all my words? But none of them work. So if I did lock and use the K, L O K, I can only shade in one thing. Not good enough. If I do slack and then do that, I've only got one thing to fill in, I need two. Not good enough. If I do lock just on the question marks, it's the same situation. I can get rid of a K, and then ones like that. So it's not lock and slack. What words do I have remaining? I have B, Tar, and Lolo, right? <clears throat> well, I could turn something to an X if I wanted to. Let's see how that helps me though. Okay, so with a Tar in here, I thought I'd make this into a solvable puzzle. <laughs> tar in here. What does that do? It lets me shade in all the things of the same. Sure, but they're not all going to be the same, are they? Because there's going to be a blank and a K at the very least. And I'm not going to have enough stuff left over afterwards to do another word. Tar, B-E, <clears throat> B-E. Sure, I can make lock. Oh, B-E, make this a T. T A shade in the K. That works, right? Uh, let me write that down. So B E they get crossed off to put a T here. And I'm treating that as an A tar K. 
That's interesting. Okay, I think I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I've got the rule right. So let's start filling them in. So I guess I'll write down, even though it's kind of hard to see what I've written down after I've written it. But lock. Because I'm scribble out, I have to scribble over the top of it afterwards. <clears throat> um so what was this? This was flack. Get rid of those two, yeah. That's an eight. Get rid of those two. This is gonna be an R. So I get to make the puzzle myself. <laughs> uh, so the TLAC outcome is getting rid of those two, and then doing a tar across there, and I get to fill in all these R's, which are all definitely R's, because I've made all of them an R. And here we have uh, B E B E to shade in. And then I've got and, and that gives me a t I can put a letter down, T, treat this as an A. That's fun how like the K ends up not actually being part of the word. It's a good setup for a puzzle. Because it makes you think you're either doing like a lock or a slack, but actually no, neither of those is the thing. <clears throat> okay, so we now have some diagonal question marks. Oh, this is all one puzzle. <laughs> treating it as one. Yeah, uh, as two, several ones. Okay, so I see a potential for a slack. Diagonally you're with that. Oh no, but that's not the diagonal that it does. There's not there's not gonna be a lolo here anyway, is there? Um adjacency, you're not adjacent to anything, which is kind of Curious. So clearly I'm going to be doing a slack here, right? Surely. The only adjacency we've got here is like across here. And then these two are adjacent, but like to connect these two together, it has to be here, but why in K? What? How on earth is this going to work? Y is not part of any word. G is not part of any word. So what on earth are these going to be that makes this work? Oh, I guess we've got tar and the tlac. I see. So tar gets rid of all the things of the same letter. And then tlac gets rid of two more. But they have to be adjacent. So that's a G. G, G. Okay, that's not too bad at all. And then those two, we make it a Y. Oh, it doesn't matter. They can, that can be anything. I can just shade those two in. Yeah, okay, that's easy. Um, uh, let's write the letters down. So it will be <clears throat> G and whatever. Um, let's just put a Y in, I guess. <clears throat> so tar, get rid of all the ones with the same letter. So G, G. Then slack, get rid of two adjacent ones. The two Y's. Okay. <clears throat> Much simpler than I thought it was going to be. Then, 70. Um, <clears throat> well, we can't do lock there. Oh, unless it's an X. We can. Interesting. Is that what it wants us to do? What on earth is going on with the rest of this? F's, K's, I see a potential for a TLAC. Only if all this is gone though. Oh, oh, this is teaching me a cool rule. So, cause you don't cross out the X, I guess it's still available to change into like another letter. Right? So I can use it as an X to do lock, but it's still available to use as a, for TLAC. Yeah, that's totally what it is. That's fantastic. I love that. <laughs> so, so lock first, but it's not like that's that is an X for now. For me to do the lock, and as a result of the lock, I cover up the F. But now it's it's still there. I haven't shaded it in, so I can just reuse it as a T. Maybe I should have written that in, not that it'll be very visible. Uh, and then slack. Cover these two up. That's a fantastic like expansion on that rule. Like the way that the 
the X's and this rule work together is really interesting. And this is probably the last one before advanced. No, this keeps going. Interesting. Um, okay, we'll try and get 71 done and then um, save the, the rest for next time. So I see the potential for a Lolo. There are no question marks here. But there's a B. <laughs> okay, this is totally going to involve me doing B and putting a question mark in that space for me to use for both the log and the lot. Yep, wow. Okay. And all these J's are probably going to get got by the Lolo, right? Yeah, I see how this is going to go. I think I can just go for it. Maybe. Maybe I should do it on the plastic first, just in case. Just in case. It'll be B, question mark. Then we're going to use that as an X first so we don't cross it out. We're going to do lock. I'm going to get rid of that one. Yeah, this works. This works perfectly. Okay. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. So B E question mark. <laughs> oh, the way all these mechanics are interacting is really, really neat. Uh, and use that as an X so we don't cross it out. Get rid of this J because it's not going to be on the diagonal that we want to hit with the Lolo. Now we're going to use it as an L. It's so weird to actually write the letter in, given that it takes on multiple forms during the puzzle, and we can get rid of all the J's. Fantastic. Okay, cool. This is an excellent mechanic, just in the way that it, at first I was like, oh, wild card, that doesn't sound like it's going to be that interesting. Um, but it's, it's interesting in the way that it interacts with everything else. It's really neat. Okay, cool. We'll continue with 72 next time. See you then.